Hello dear fans. How to make styrofoam. You can also make foam at home. But this process is still not safe, so it is better to do this in a workshop, and stock up on all the necessary equipment in advance. Necessary. Polystyrene, balls, special equipment. Instructions. Step 1. To make foam, you need to get a lot of small balls of polystyrene. These balls are very small, which is why people sometimes call them beads. Then these balls must be inflated and glued together. Step 2. To glue the polystyrene balls together, they need to be heated with very hot steam. Heating is continued until the polystyrene balls begin to swell. When the balloons are inflated, gas will start to emit from them, which will PUSH the balloons towards each other. After that, they stick together and take the FORM of the container in which they are located. Step 3. After the resulting mass has cooled, the foam can be considered cooked. However, the quality of such homemade foam will be quite low, if you can do anything at all. For the production of real foam, special equipment is required that can provide the entire technological cycle. In addition, experimenting at home with such high temperatures is simply dangerous both to health and to the home itself. Step 4. To make urea foam, you need to follow these steps. Prepare a solution to begin with. For this, a curing catalyst, KO, and a foaming agent, PO, are diluted in water at room temperature. Start the installation. Then pour the resin and the foaming solution into the appropriate containers. Supply compressed air to the unit inlet. Switch on the pumps supplying foaming solution and resin. Open the resin and solution valves. Pour the foam coming from the sleeve into special, collapsible forms. Cut and dry the resulting foam. Urea foam is cut with a fishing line or string. Drying time is 1 to 3 days. Thanks for watching.